Bro, my whole life is facing everything and rising. Because everywhere I go, people try to bring me down. People try to, and you know, people are only bringing you down because you're above them. You know what I'm saying? People try to bring me down. Every party in New York I damn near go to, LA, Miami, I'm always having to finesse my way in or using some kind of strong uh, Holy Spirit prayer to like get that positive exposure that I need in order to feed my family and help people and come back and inspire people. You know what I'm saying? So my whole life, I could think of a million stories, honestly. Let's get one because, you know, I'll I, I be there. It'd be deep. It'd be deep. All right, look, for example, for example, here in Austin, Texas itself, here in Austin, Texas, there's a show called Jambalaya. Nobody got me into Jambalaya. I got myself into Jambalaya. It's not the people that Jambalaya is trying to stop me. You know what I'm saying? They're doing their job. But it's not like people don't know me. Once again, people are trying to bring me down. You know me. I don't have to pay millions of hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars to be inside of an event. If I know the celebrities in there, they rock with me. And niggas really see who I am. It's like you would want this nigga to be in your event. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to sponsor you. You feel me? And show more love. But God has a bigger plan for me. For me to be legend already made obstacles have to happen so in the future they could be like oh land we love you come every time now and i wouldn't take it personally because in the four agreements it says number two the second agreement don't take anything personally nothing others do is because of you what others say and do is the projection of their own reality their own dream when you are immune to the opinions and actions of others you won't be victim of needless suffering so i'm not going to have needless suffering i'm not going to be victim to that just because of that so I overcome. I say I'm not going to fear not going in. I see security. I walk past them. I say something witty. I use my, my whole body, my whole instrument in order to overcome situations like that. You know what I'm saying? My whole life is doing shit like that. And I get to meet Bum B. You know what I'm saying? I get to meet uh, my homeboy truck, Bum B's bodyguard. You know what I'm saying? I got to meet Steve Aoki. I put my top hat on Steve Aoki. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to talk to Vince Young uh, personally. You know what I'm saying? AJ Williams and, and, even, and, and more people. But just because I did not fear and I took it, only those who risk going too far can figure out how far one can go. I took it there. I got to be a VIP. I eventually got kicked out. You know what I'm saying? But I still got there. I still met Bum B. I still met these people. And now uh, those relationships have grown. You know what I'm saying? They know me firsthand. So if I would have feared, if I would have forget everything and run, I never would have got to a situation like that. And now I go back. I went to Jump Live 2018, did the same thing. Hooper Trippy Red. You know what I'm saying? Met Offset, met the Migos. Now I met Offset again in Miami. Then I met Offset again in, in New York. And people know me now. I met Trippy Red in, uh, in, in Miami after uh, outside of Mr. Jones during our base when I spit to Tory Lanez. Like, oh, I remember that boy from, from Jump Live because I, I kept going. You know what I'm saying? I didn't let somebody say no and oh, next opportunity. I kept going, bro. That's the inspiration that I bring. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just a quick story to, to, like, to, to wrap just a little bit of like life up to show like if I would have feared, I would have forget everything and run. I would have never faced everything and rise. You know what I'm saying? So I never, it never, it, 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 it never, it, it never applied to me. False evidence apparent real never applied to me. I knew it was fake. You know what I'm saying? I knew the energy didn't exist. You know what I'm saying? So I overcame.